this video, I will be walking you through the basics of using the Citata application to find case law and case relationships. First, let's navigate to citata.africanly.org. This is the home page of the Citata application. To search for case law, we should first decide whether we already know the case name or citation of a particular case, or if we are looking more generally for case law on a particular topic. If you already know the case name or citation of the case that you are looking for, then select to search by case name or medium neutral citation, and then enter the case name or medium neutral citation that you are looking for. Alternatively, if you would like to find case law generally on a particular topic, then choose the keyword option. Note that the keyword option is selected by default when you first land on the Citata homepage. Then you can enter a keyword that you would like to look for. Next, you can optionally filter to only see cases from a particular year to a particular year or by jurisdiction. Let's look for all cases from 1980 onwards, and then let's choose a jurisdiction. We can select one jurisdiction or many, and we can select jurisdictions one at a time, or we can select an entire region at once. Once you've selected the jurisdictions that you would like to see results for, then click on OK. Future releases of the Citata application will also include the ability to filter by court and to filter by area of law. Now let's click on search. This is the results page. At the top of the results page, we can see again the same search box and the same filters as we had on the home page. If you would like to search for a new case or for a new topic, you can do so from here without having to navigate back to the home page. Below these filters, we see our search results. Each result is in its own block and lists the case title as well as some useful information about each decision, including the year in which it was decided, the jurisdiction in which it was decided, the court in which it was decided, and the medium neutral citation. Below this information, you will see for most cases that we have generated automatically uh, a short summary or flyout. This summary consists of two parts. First, they are the key words and phrases. These are words and phrases that appear often in the document and can give us some indication of what the case is about. Over here, we can see that this case is a criminal case. We can see that it involves the offense of theft, and we can see that it probably involves a minor. Below the key words and phrases, we can see key sentences. Key sentences are sentences that give us an indication of some of the main topics in the judgment. These sentences are reproduced as they appeared in the judgment. In this example, we can see that the focus of this matter was about the age of one of the accused. We can also see that they have given some guidance about how to treat this matter in relation to fault, which is what we searched for. The key sentences say that we should first investigate capacity and only then begin the inquiry into fault. If we scroll down, we can see all of these search results that we have got for our keyword search with our filters. The next feature, and the main feature of the Citator, is that for these results, when our application has been able to find citations from this judgment, we can click on Show Citations, and we will be able to see the cases referred to, and sometimes when this case has been cited in other judgments, also the note to uppers. Or referred to in. What the Citator then allows us to do is to get a visual representation of the relationships between this case and other cases based on citations. We can see this visual representation by clicking on View on Graph. Over here we now see each case represented by a circle. The case that we originally looked at, in this case 2018 UGSC number 9, is in the center and has a black circle around it. We can click on this and see at the bottom which case this is. Around this case are the three decisions 
which it cited. The errors on the graph start at the earlier case and point towards the later judgment. If the case being referenced was approved, then these arrows will show the direction of movement of the precedent. This can be handy in tracking precedent movements through larger graphs. We can increase the size of this graph by clicking on a depth of 2. What this will do is show us not only the cases that were directly cited or cited in, but also further cases that are related to those cases. This provides us with some additional information, which we would not be able to see by just looking at a list of cases referred to and no to uppers. In particular, we can see that one of the decisions which was discussed in our case has also been discussed in a different case, Umbere versus Uganda. If we would like to use our decision, 2019 UGSC number 9, and in particular how it discussed this case, then we should also look at Mbere versus Uganda to see how that court treated this decision. We can further increase the depth of our graph and see what other judgments are related to our judgment by a further number of links or citations. Over here we can see that there is another judgment which has been cited a large number of times. Bigger circles mean that a case has been cited more often and indicate that the case has been more influential. If we increase the depth of the graph even further, then we can see all the other decisions that cited this case with the big circle. This case is not directly related to our case, but perhaps we would also want to have a look at this one, since it appears to be quite influential. Next, if we would like to recenter the graph on a different decision, then we can select that decision by clicking on the circle, and then click View on Graph at the bottom for that decision. The graph will reload now centered on this new decision. Finally, if we would like to see which courts the decisions on this graph were decided in, we can click Highlight by Court. Now, decisions that were decided in the same court will be highlighted in the same color. For example, all of the pink circles were decided in the same court. Thank you for watching this video and we hope that you are able to use the Citata application to find case law and case relationships that are useful to you in drafting your legal arguments or in other applications. Please do remember to leave feedback. This application is in beta and has a lot of development still required. We would like to hear from you about how you found your experience on the Citata, what additional features you might like, where you might have gotten stuck or questions that you might have. You can also read how it works and about for more information or contact us with specific questions.